Peace and grand rising to the sovereign, original, indigenous, natural, divine heirs. Today is April the 13th, 14, uh, 2023 on the ancient moon calendar, 2024 on the ancient sun calendar. All rise and stand and remain standing into perpetuity. This is a sovereign, living, ancient, Article 3, Moorish American, Al Moroccan, universal court action. We are the Sovereign Living Justices. I am Sovereign Living Justice, Pauline Denise Ritchie. My free chosen Sovereign Appellation is Light to Jerry Bay. All are in capitis diminution nolo, in red ink, in propio persona sutures, in propio solo, and in propio heredes. All Moors are the original indigenous, sovereign, ancient, al Moroccan, Moorish American descendants of the great pharaohs of Kemet and of the ancient Moabites and Canaanites. Our full faith and trust, our allegiance, our credit, and our energy are hereby vested in ourselves, for we are the people who are the original indigenous, natural, divine, sovereign, ancient, empire state from Morocco. We're the de jure Moorish National Republic federal government. We are ancient Washington District for Columbia. We're the universal Moorish American consulate and the earthwide Article Three Moorish American consular court. Today, we are executing and exercising the law by our sovereign status, which is the original indigenous, natural divine, sovereign ancient Article Three living United States District for Columbia Court, and we are the sovereign fiduciaries, creditors, executors, trustees, ministers, possessors, and titled beneficiaries for this cause for action. We are peace. We are one nation, one state, one empire, and one God. We hereby recognize ourselves and accept our sovereign ascension. We've issued a universal creditor's bill for possession and custody over all land, all natural resources, and all commerce and all other property. We, are, we the one true God nation, are not at war, and we hereby exercise all eternal, ancient, original, sovereign rights at this time and at all points in time, not pro tonk, Islam. Let me do just a little bit of housekeeping. And we'll go ahead and get started. Islam. Okay. So, um, during our last congressional assembly, we touched on a dem on the demonstration, uh, a demonstration with one of the justices. So. What we're going to do is go even further with this demonstration as stated by the ancestors who reminded us. Uh, in our last uh, assembly, one of the heirs, Justice Malik, uh, I believe it was, who asked about a false arrest record. And as I thought about that after our congressional assembly this past Sunday, uh, I said, okay, let me just let me just marinate on that a little bit because it's it's really important uh, that we know what we have the authority to do. So, when the ancestors, as, as I thought about it, the ancestors reminded me of when the colonizers the previous colonizers from the last era, when they first came here, uh, the ancestors reminded me that they were, they came here pretending to be uh, seeking religious freedom, right? And the ancestors reminded me that every one of them that came here was coming here trying to escape a criminal past that they had over there because they were all criminals when they came.
team here. And some might want to debate on that. There's no debate necessary. Their status was wrong over there, too. So we know they were all criminals when they came here. So um, the ancestors said, uh, began to show me about how when they came here, they, they, they looked around and they saw you all, the Moors, and they found out what your appellations were and they said, okay, those are holy appellations. We can't take a holy appellation, but we can, we can put it in all capital letters and make it a name and we can take that name. And so in the name of the Savior, they began to go and do things. That's biblical. It's biblical. And they, they, they created all new everything. All of this writing that we've been rebutting was just them creating all new, supposedly creating all new records, but really they were copying the records of our ancestors. And so the ancestors uh, began to show me how all of that works. And so um, they enacted, and all of that was acting, they enacted new lives on paper at the new land. So now that we have reset everything, because this is indeed the great, great, great reset, now that we have reset everything back to the original state for us, we encourage all Moors to place on the public record clean, clear background records, driving records, clean, perfect credit reports. Um, what other records do people, oh, employment records, however you want to, what, whatever records that need to be restated, we are encouraging you to let the record show, uh, first and foremost, that you are not criminals because we know that when we woke up, for example, I'll, and I'll just, I'll just speak from my own experience, that when I first woke up within five months, uh, there was an attempt to get me to claim a corpse that was arrested, and I refused to do it. So they had to let you know, say, okay, we, we can't keep her. She's alive. But, you know, there's still some stuff she needs to know, but she's alive. So we got to let her go. And then they tried it again. And then, in that time, I knew more about who we are and about we're the court and all of that. And so we, we stated who we were, and we did that for 10 days straight, stated stated court action after court action after court action. And so now what we're seeing, because let me tell you why what we're doing should be done. We're creating our own money. We've already created it. We've already created our own merchant cards. We've created our own driver's license. And I have to tell you the demonstration that I did this week that blew my mind like, uh, into a, a, a greater expansion of who we are. Um, as you all know, uh, well, let me first finish what I was saying about, you know, explaining why we must do what we're doing. The old system from the last era where the quote-unquote, the, the driver's dr uh, department of motor vehicles and all of that, all of that, that system along with the passport system and the the uh, child welfare system where they all link together so that they would pull the passport from the more who didn't pay the child support and didn't agree to have their children trafficked, et cetera, et cetera, all of that. Okay, those systems were joined together by the National Bank, Banking, Banking Association or the American Banking Association, quote, unquote. It's not the real one. It was the fake one. Um, Yes, indeed, Empress, I will do that. Uh, and so the, those systems were in trust. They were enacting being in trust with each other. And that's why they could share information and didn't have to have anyone's permission to do that. They didn't get the permission to traffic the children and then tell them more the more that they can't travel somewhere. They can't go wherever they want to go. Okay, uh, but that those systems, it was the systems that were speaking to each other. 
enacting speaking to each other. So when those systems enacted speaking to each other, um, they had they had they were enacting having trust a trust established between them. Okay, and so um, when they when they uh, once we began to state who we are and and do the things that we're doing. Um, there was, we automatically invoked antitrust in, because it, it's only by, by what was considered our quote unquote trust, okay, that they were even doing those things. It was because, it was only because we enacted having trust in them, when in reality they are not who they said they were. And um, now we know. And so since we've been demonstrating and we've leaned everything and all of that, we've, we've leaned from start to finish, all of that, um, the quote-unquote trust between those systems in that old thing is gone. They, they don't have, they, there's no trust connection because the only trust that connected them was us. Okay, thinking that they were government and, and thinking that they were someone that they weren't, thinking that they had the authority to tell us we can drive or not drive, we can travel or not travel, we can have our heirs when we want to see our heirs or not see our heirs, you know, because of some fraudulent enactment. So because that trust is not there, those systems don't talk to each other anymore. They're mute. We muted them. When we leaned them and did, did the things that we've done, we've placed a levy on, on that whole thing because that's not proper and, and, and appropriate and it's not legal or lawful. And so what, once we did that, um, Morris, that system doesn't speak anymore. So let's just say there is a foreigner on the land pretending to be us. Those systems won't even be able to tell that. They won't be able to tell it. So we don't want those systems pretending to be some something that they're not. So we have to actually, uh, since we all have declared that we have trust in each other and in ourselves, because our our trust is vested in ourselves and each other, you know, as as the as the sovereign heirs on the land. So we have to put our system, we have, all we're doing is activating something that already exists. And then what we do is we're going to recreate credit reports, uh, driver's license, driving records. And, and again, those who, who, have, who feel like they don't want to do driving, driver's license, stuff, you don't have to do it. But, but I will say this, if you are traveling or driving a conveyance, Okay, um, and they pull you over, and you're pulled over. It is going to be. Please let me tell you from just you, you. You will want to have issued yourself a driver's license. Uh, and that brings me to the demonstration that I did this week. That just uh, you know, it's it blew my mind. So um, someone that I know uh, had to go to a hospital. And they said, okay, I'm going to need some help. Can you take me to the hospital uh, tomorrow at such and such a time or whatever, you know? And I said, sure, I'll take you to the hospital. So. The ancestors had me to uh, to go ahead and issue uh, and and just add add a few things to my dri my driver's license set that our government issues. And so um, I did that. I added the things they told me to add to the driver's license because we have the authority to do that because we're self-governing. And so 
the hospital that the one that I was assisting wanted to go to is on what used to be called, it used to be called a military base, but it's not a military base. It's a common access area. And those, and they don't issue, they don't issue military cards, ID cards. They issue common access cards. Uh, it used to be military ID cards way back in the day. And I won't say where that was or anything because we, again, I was traveling and uh, the one that I was with, you know, it does, I don't have to say where we were, uh, but it was, it was previously claiming to be a military base. And so, um, as I went through the gate, I, I, I displayed and demonstrated my Moorish driver's license. And as I showed my driver's license, they looked at the driver's license, and then he said, can you turn it over? I turned it over on the back. They saw the back, and I'll show you what was on it. And there was nothing they, could, they couldn't rebut it, so they had to say, they couldn't rebut the driver's license. But the ancestors had told me the night before what to put on it. And and I will say this too about that. I was I was I was a little nervous about that. I was a little bit in fear about demonstrating it. But the ancestors said, No, nope. go ahead and make the these couple of changes here on it and then demonstrate it because it is a re we know it's real. We know who we are. And everyone else knows who we are. And uh, we we went on, and 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 the the uh, the one that I was helping and assisting got to where they were going and got whatever they needed, you know, uh, and 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 everything was all good. But because I used to be in the Air Force, quote unquote, back in the day. Uh, that's where the programming and the fear was coming from. It was coming from that those times. But as I was explaining to the one that I was assisting, I said, you know, because they know the whole thing about what I'm doing and all of that. And, uh, and I said to the one that I was assisting, you know, I had to explain to them that, yes, we have the authority to do the things that we're doing. It has to fit into the what we call the legal principles because we're the ones, the Moors are the ones who put legal principles in place. Okay, we did that initially. And because it fit within the legal parameters, even according to, remember this, uh, according to the National ID Act, quote unquote, it fit that because the IDs have to have one star in the upper right corner. That's one of the things. So all driver's license had to have that back in, they, they did that, they enacted that probably five years ago. The Real ID Act is what they called it, the Real ID Act. And then there were some other parameters that needed to be met on that, and so they were met. And, um, you know, that just really, that really, the programming was all the way gone by the time I did that demonstration, and, and, and it worked so well. And then the ancestors began to show me uh, around on there, on that common access area, I'm not going to call it a military base because that's not really what it is, um, Around on that common access area, the ancestors, as I began to look around, I noticed things that told me that our land is no longer occupied by a foreign military. It's not. Those are all subjects. They're all subjects, all of them. And just like Justice Asa Dula was uh giving his testament before this recording started. Justice Asa Dula, uh, I would like to, to, for you to, to state what happened just briefly. Just take a, a couple of minutes to state what happened and the demonstration. 
regarding the policy enforcer and, and or the, the subject, in, wait a minute, let me say that right, the subject in the office of police, because that's our office. But just, that's just further proof. When you said that uh, before the recording started, Justice Aza Dula, it just affirmed even further what the ancestors had been showing and saying, our land is no longer occupied by a foreign military. It is actually, there are subjects there that are just, just doing what subjects do. Go ahead, Justice Aza Dula. Yes, it's, um, so um, today, um, I'm in New York Territory, and we was going through the uh, uh, the turnstiles, and a policy. Well, you sound like a retard. And does everybody know that Pauline was arrested for drunk driving? Hold on. You sound like a. Go ahead. The, the, the policy enforcer began to stop us from entering, and he said, "Produce an ID." So I briefly told them that you know. Uh, producing that form of a, uh, are you asking me to produce a fraudulent identification? And he, he kind of got quiet. He's not asking you to produce it. Produce your documentation. Produce the documentation. Go ahead. No he problem. got he got quiet and um, he began to ask different questions and and threaten us with arrest and and i said again to him uh are you threatening to kidnap us and then i told him briefly like you know uh to produce a fraudulent id is actually unlawful are you asking me to produce a united states citizen id and he he began to get quiet like like he noticed what we what i was saying and I told him, you know, it's against the law, and I and I cited the the law on him, and then he released us. So, <laughs> yeah. Again, they're they're subjects. Thank you, Justice Asa Dula. Uh, they're they're subjects. And now, more. This is what I will say. And Justice Asa Dula, this is this would be my encouragement to you. Just it's just a suggestion. Whatever. Um, Whatever they're looking for, we can produce it ourselves, and we actually should produce it ourselves because that is a resource on our land. So public transportation is a resource. Uh, it does not require that we give fiat to, 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 to travel on our land. No. Excuse me. So I would encourage you to just create whatever it is that they that they issue, whether it be a 30-day a pass, a 60-day, a 90-day pass. Produce one that looks very similar to the ones that they put put out there, and you can just you can you can look online and see and find what what a sample travel whatever that is looks like. Uh, produce one for yourself, uh, and even if it's something that they supposedly scan. If there are some that don't re that don't require scanning, so they will ha they will have to accept what we put out there. Um, I was with someone when I did the demonstration uh, regarding the common access area, formerly that was formerly doing business as a military base. I was with uh, the one that I was with that I was assisting. They had a a, a, mili a, a, a retired I believe it was a retired military ID. And so um, they had to show theirs also, uh, but I was in the, you know, I was in the driver's seat of the conveyance. So um, I will say this, that, you know, I explained to, to the one that I was with that, that our, our documents have to be honored. They have to be honored. That's not, a, that's not a choice. It's not optional because we're not asking permission for anything. What we are doing, though, is 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 a, is aligning ourselves with the legal aspects of proper governance on our land except that comes from us that doesn't come from any any anyone else it comes from us and then uh so so now as we're talking about recreating the records and then what we do is this is how we're recreating our records including uh, Justice Asa Dula, whatever it is that they were looking for, some type of a ticket or some type of ID or something like that, you can create your own 
uh, public transportation ID. And, and there, there will be nothing that can stop you from using it. Because in reality, that's, that's what we're being um, guided by the ancestors to do so that we can access everything that we want to access, everything unencumbered, and not using fiat to do it. So the driving records and all of that, all of those things that we recreate, we're doing it, number one, by Article Three court. Number two, we're the state, we're the government, we're the law. We have the authority to do it, and everyone knows that. That's why policy enforcers like what Justice Asa Dula would, or not policy enforcers, subject in the office of police, uh, won't, they, won't, they won't proceed any further. But it, it's important, more that as quickly as we know what documentation to show, that we produce the documentation and just show it because we're being taught how to govern. This is a very vast estate. It's very big. And we want to be able to see all of it, all of it. And so whatever it takes to see all of it in an orderly manner, then of course. Now, Morris, <laughs> let me show you. Uh, let me see, did I put it on here? Yes, I did. Let me show you what my, I, my driver's license looks like again. Let me just show you again. Because I told you I did have to redo it. Um, so this is what the front looks like. And he actually, uh, when I went through the gate and I was, I was um, looking at uh, and, and showing my uh, driver's license, he actually read out loud this part right here that says original indigenous American. And, and something in his energy completely changed when he, when he read that. His energy completely changed. Uh, it was like, it was almost like somebody hit him over the head with something, you know. And, um, and then I put, and this is on the back. Now, for the Moors who've been talking about uh, do not detain, um, It from among our people. Uh, anyone who has a uh, yes in the chat, Justice um, Shake Klein L. Yes, he says most of the corporate the corporation constitution are in trust with the church, papal charities. Also, their that's their sea law. Yes. Well, we're 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 the popes. All of us are the popes. All of us are the police. All of us are the law. We're, we're all of that. And church only means ecclesia. In the, in the past, church and ecclesia meant the same, and an ecclesia is a senate. It's the government. Um, Justice Sharif, you're, is, he put in the chat, in law, driver's licenses only needed to operate the motor vehicle or conveyance on the public roads, yes. Highways, yes. However, operating your conveyance on the public roads, highways for non-commercial purposes is traveling and driver's license is not needed in law. You're correct for in law. It's not needed at law. Legally, though, if you even go to the grocery store, you're going to need a driver's license because that's still commerce. Now, if you were living off the land and you were going out to pick your, from your crops and things and you're doing things that way, that's then, then that's, that's lawful, and you can travel lawfully that way. But if you have, if there's any exchange of money, gold, silver, or you're buying anything or selling anything, that's commerce, and it doesn't matter what that thing is. And so I did myself a huge favor by issuing my own driver's license to myself, and it, it actually came from our government. It came from our government. Okay. So, um, yes, a driver's license is needed when you're doing commerce. And doing commerce means if you're, whether you're buying or selling. And listen, it's not going to, uh, and, and, and for us, 
we govern our driver's license, and that's why I'm saying we must issue new driving records for ourselves. Driving records, insurance records for ourselves, put them on the public record. They're court actions just like everything else. They are Article Three, just like everything else. Uh, they go with a lien and a levy, just like everything else. Um, and everything that we do. Um, I now I created this uh, this driver license. I, there's a program that I have. It's called um, ID Maker. That's what it's called, ID Maker. Uh, in fact, let me see. Um, I'm going to show you how I did it. Uh, and it came with just a regular um, ID machine, okay? And I want to thank Justice Abbasi for showing me this machine. Justice Abbasi. Talib Bey showed me this machine, um, and uh, let's see, because he was he was doing he was using it to make uh, Moorish IDs, and we know our Moorish IDs are are what they should be. So um, this is. Hopefully you can see this on the screen. Let me just make sure I'm sharing it. Uh, okay, uh, this is this is the program, and uh, what I do is uh, open a recent ID project because I've already started this one. Uh, this one is uh, not what, I'm not going to do this one right here. I'm going to do, do the other one. The, uh, I was looking at this, this uh, Consular General, speaking of which, I was uh, going to also make a Consular General um, uh, ID for all of us to have. But, Morris, let me say this about that. The term general is a war term and we're not at war. I looked up the word uh, when you're talking about general as a noun, um, and I and and I know that we're not at war, and we're not going to go to war. You know, we had the option to go to war, but but why? When we've been at war the whole time in the last era, the last era was war because war means confusion, and so um, I'm not going to use that terminology. Uh, for the things that we do. So what I did was uh, I used this program to make um, IDs and things like that. And, you, you know, with, with this one, you can just move things around, put, put things up here. This is how I did my, uh, my, my driver's license. And then we put the, the continental flag, actually the continental, yeah, the continental flag, um, our banner for Amity and Commerce, which has the stars going on the right-hand side and not the left. Um, and then, you know, whatever you want to put here, and then I added my autograph and so on and so forth. Um, for the Consular General one, I restated uh, the American Bar Association number, which is my state security number and that's not necessary you don't necessarily have to do to restate the number for that purpose um, just however you choose to do it so this is the program that I use to do the things that I do and then the back of the document looks like this and every every ID that I produce is going to say do not detain and and the guy uh, at the gate uh, the guy at the gate actually had, uh, he said, he, he, he said can, uh, turn, uh, I, I showed him the front, and then I turned it over on the back, and then he said, let me see the front again. I showed him the front again, he, and he read out original indigenous American, and he said, let me see the back. And I turned, turned it on the back, and it said, do not, do not detain, Constitution 4, et cetera, et cetera. No, um, not, uh, not that to buy the machine. Uh, that's not 
that's not what I did. Uh, that machine, when I got it, was, was about 140 sovereign credits, 140 sovereign credits. Um, and I say sovereign credits because I have done all of the documentation, a lien uh, and court action and everything on the account. So the account's been restated. So uh, that machine, I would have never, I've, I would have never said a thousand, I would have never paid a thousand for anything like that unless the ancestors told me to, but they didn't. They made it very doable for me. And let me just say this, Morris, when you're talking about governing this land, um, I wouldn't think of buying a pizza before I did all of the things that use my sovereign credits to, to do the things, to, to get the things that we need to govern. When we first started governing and we realized the, what we thought was the magnitude of what we had to do, I was just saying, okay, well, ancestors, I only get a, a very small amount that comes in every month in terms of sovereign credits. So if you want us to do all this stuff, I'll do whatever I, I'm going to do everything that you, that you all guide me to do from within me. And I'm going to do it without fiat in as much as I possibly can. And I haven't had to use fiat in years. The last time I, I uh, even bothered with fiat was, was about two years ago when I gave an empress uh, they came here, and I, I gave them something to, to stay in a hotel and, and, and things of that nature, and that's what they, that's what they asked for. That's what I gave them. But um, we don't use it. We use sovereign credits to do everything, and it's a, it, this, uh, that ID maker was about like probably 140 or something like that, somewhere around there. I don't remember exactly how much, but about 100 or something. So... So you can get them for a very uh, low amount of sovereign credits. Uh, and again, I wouldn't think, uh, I would not hesitate to use every resource I could get my hands on. And I didn't. Over these years, you know, that we've been governing, I will tell you, Morris, uh, there were some times when I spent my very last sovereign credit on ink for the printer and things like that. And the Moors who are in the territory will tell you, they know, uh, because they've seen us do this work. And you know what? The ancestors made sure we had whatever we needed every single day, no matter what it was. And now we're seeing exactly why they said do that. Because we're we're the old things are passed away and behold all things are become new. Credit reports, uh, driving records, and all of that we get to correct that because guess what that one from the past was not even us. That was their corpse that they created, and so um, the things that we want to do, all we have to do to do those things is. Simply create. So, again, uh, I showed you how we do the things with uh, ID Maker. Uh, let me see. Uh, that's fine. Uh, just so that you can see. So, um, now, if I had time to create one for everyone, I would, but I, but I, between the study and the demonstrations, I don't have time at this time. Um, but I, I am of the knowing that where there's a will, there's a way. If we really want something done, we know how to get it done. We're the, we're the source of all resources. And so now, even for those who are wanting domiciles and conveniences and things like that, listen, as we recraft and restate Everything that has to do with us, specifically uh, credit, um, credit ratings and things like that, credit reports, 
uh, bank everything because um, yeah, bank credit ratings and things like that. Uh, pardon me I, if I seem a little bit distracted, but I see I see someone's trying to get okay. Okay, um, and so you know we can re restate everything by court action and then send it out. Uh, criminal records, quote unquote, all of that stuff needs to be uh, left in the last era with the ones who created all that debt, and then you notify the subjects in the office of police and everything that your record is clear and clean. No one can rebut that because it's our person now. It's our all caps for in capitalist diminution show minima. And so I will say this too. When, as the ancestors were telling me this, of course the programming kicked in and the mistrust tried to come to the forefront and say, well, what if someone is a, a child molester and you don't know they're a child molester and they've cleared their record? What about that? The ancestor said, do not walk in fear of your brothers and sisters as you move forward. Everyone gets a clean slate until they prove otherwise. And I, don't, I just don't believe that anyone who can escape that type of a label will we'll go that route again knowing who we are and knowing what we do but you know um i will say this 99 percent of us are not the things that were said about us we're not and i believe 100 percent of us are not what they said about us because those are not our persons so we, we cannot accept, we can't drag that corpse into the new era. We cannot. We're law enforcement. And what did, what in the last era, what did the blue shield enact? If someone was killed, the blue shield would close around them and protect them and make sure that they and their families were whisked away and put somewhere and they dealt with it internally. Same thing with all of those priests and things like that. Now, am I advocating doing things wrong? Nope, we do everything in honor. And that's how we're going to proceed in the new era. We can worry about other people, but put that light on ourselves and say, do I deserve all that I that we're issuing to ourselves? Just think about that. We know we were dealing with a system that was, you know, it was the antithesis of, of, of what we have put together, of what we have created. It was the antithesis. It was not for our benefit. But we're the heirs, the beneficiaries. So, yeah, this is, and, and then we have all the money we could ever imagine. You know, I keep looking at my, my delarium uh, that I keep on the table. And as I'm issuing, um, you know, as I'm doing 1099 C's, uh, restated 1099 C's and things like that, I just put some delarium with it. And, and, and I'm getting rid of things, restating everything. That's going to mean that the, that the credit record that I have is truth. It's going to say I have no debt and that I'm very extremely, extremely, extremely wealthy. That's what the Great Reset is, though. That's what it is. They knew that's what Jubilee is. Islam. That's what Jubilee is. Islam nobility. Uh, quick question. I, I just saw that you had that little stack there, your little stash. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, may I ask, if you don't mind, what what is there a spe specific type of paper that you're printing that out on for consistency? Yes, uh, there is the type of paper. 
that I use is a natural blend of cotton and linen. Very good. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Let me make sure everyone can see that, too. Yeah, it looks like it's coming through good. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Business paper. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it is called G Natural. So, um, uh, let's see. I the in general, a pastor is one who gives compensation for a ride. Uh, yes. Uh, so, Noble Phoenix, that's a great question. You, he in the chat he said, "Why would you use the P endorsement passenger on our ID?" Black's Law, in general, a passenger is one who gives compensation for a ride. Um, Justice Phoenix, do you know why they always start definitions or, or, or do, what it means when they say in general, when they start a definition with those words in general? Because it's not always applicable would be right. my answer. That's, 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 that's the first, that is the first correct part of that. The other part of that is what we said about the word general at the beginning. When they say in general, they're saying in military terms, a passenger is one who gives compensation for a ride. Also, a That's secondary, a secondary mm -hmm. definition of general is in public because you have a general, uh, general rules that apply to the public as whole, and then you have mm -hmm. private or special rules. When they say special, that's indicating mm -hmm. private. I would mm -hmm. even go as far as to, uh, I'm, this is me thinking out loud as I, this is all new to me. Um, mm -hmm. I would even go so far as to say as far as an endorsement, um, you know, special, S, mm -hmm. okay, special, mm -hmm. or diplomat, or whatever, okay, mm -hmm. something that, that, again, indicates my, my class A status. Mm -hmm. Don't mess with this one, you know, yeah. and I want that very strongly uh, so I'm I'm thinking for me personally, uh, mm -hmm. instead of passenger, I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'm gonna come up with an endorsement that recognizes mm -hmm. my station, my mm -hmm. superior status as an indigenous yeah. man on the land, mm -hmm. you know, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and that yeah. no, I am in no way, no shape, no form a part of the former mm -hmm. structure where P like on your passport, indicated mm -hmm. popper. It also yeah. indicated peon. Yeah. It indicated all of those things that denuded to slavery. So I don't yeah. want on my ID any reference to any kind of a P word mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. That's just mm -hmm. me. It's That's me. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, because mm -hmm. I don't want no confusion in yeah. their mind when they see my new ID. Islam. Yeah. <laughs> Islam, thank you for that. So I'll tell you what I was thinking about when I put it there. He's talking about where it says here, endorsement, passenger, P equals passenger. All I was thinking was uh, when we have like a, a bus or something like that and there's a bunch of moors coming and we all want to get together and go grab something to eat or something like that, you have to have the P on there if you're going to be transporting passengers. That's what it meant in, in the driver license world. So I was thinking about the Moors when I put it there. I wasn't right. thinking, you know. Right. That's, that's, good. Um, that's good. That's good, but I'm just thinking. It means quick. what we say it means now. So, so, so don't bring mm -hmm. that, don't drag that colonial. Uh, just a moment, please. Just a moment. Uh, don't don't bring that colonial, you know, and, and this is a suggestion. Don't, you know, we apply what we what it means for us because we're the government. So we get to say what that means. And, and from what I, even from what I read as I was studying the classifications and things, because I did that study too, when you have passengers that pee on there, that means that you can drive a, a school bus or, or a bus that carries a bunch of people. And so that's what I was thinking about because I, all I'm thinking is I, I'm just trying to find a way for us to all get together and be together and all, just however we want to do that. You know? I, I understand the spirit of what you're yeah. saying in that regard. I, I will just add this little comment um, um, as a side note with, mm -hmm. 
when when we come together, like in the example that you used, um, mm-hmm. again, the Moors that are traveling with me and we're going to the store together, I do not need to have a license or a designation that these are passengers because they're not passengers. They're not paying me. I am not for hire, and I'm not transporting them for hire, which is the commercial activity that is being mm-hmm. regulated by the driver's licensing, not just in commerce, but to move passengers who mm-hmm. are operating for hire. I mean that mm-hmm. you are operating the vehicle, motor vehicle, which is, again, commercial term, for hire. Yeah. I'm, doing, yeah. I'm using my private automobile conveyance. That's part of my private trust, not mm-hmm. registered to them, doesn't belong to them. And mm-hmm. you cannot tell me that I have to have license to move my family, if I could mm-hmm. use that word, my loved mm-hmm. ones, mm-hmm. including my brothers and sisters, who are not paying me as guests in my vehicle. Therefore, passenger, in my case, would still not apply. Islam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Islam. So if I may respond, just as uh, Shay Klein, it, uh, just, just give me just one second to respond to that, please. I honor what you're saying. The things that we have been doing, uh, Noble Phoenix, has been so that commerce commences on the land lawfully. And so when I did that, again, I was actually thinking that when more come here for our, for our gathering uh, later in the year, uh, whenever that will be, and we send someone or a driver to go and pick them up in a limo or whatever from the, from the airport or whatever the case may be, uh, we expect them to pay in delarium. We do expect that so that we keep track of what we don't accept fiat, but we do take delarium so that everything, again, commerce continues in the way that it should. So we're thinking at it from the, from the one area that has been the place where some moors, even some of the strongest moors I know, took a step back when it came to this area of commerce on our land because they, 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 they couldn't figure out how to get through the fiat piece. And so we're saying, okay, we know how to get through it. We'll just use our own everything. And that's why we're doing it this way. Now, when it comes to the Richie Moors, which is my clan, uh, I, I might just make them pay. I don't know. <laughs> and that way they'll, they'll have to print some DeLorean whether they want to print it or not. <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't do that to them, uh, maybe. But, you know, we're doing it to activate. We're, we're, we want to get that one area, the one area that's been the sticking point from, from what we can see with the mowers. It's the commerce, the money, that piece. Let's put it in its place, do it lawfully, and all they have to do is print it out, print out the money. And and it, or however you're going to do it. If you're going to be doing commerce and you do lawn work or whatever the case may be, or you do, or you're a hotelier, or you're a, a pilot, that you are paid for what you're doing in gold and silver lawful money. So that's, that's, that's the, when we're looking at everything from, from, and then of course, the more who um, say, well, uh, I want to come to the convention and, um, you know, I don't know. I don't have a printer. I, I, can't even, I, I can't even fathom that happening because we have so much already um, in terms of DeLarium and, and the, thing, the, the aspects on our land. Whatever is important to us will make it happen. And to me, it's important for us to get that one area of commerce and control over all land, all natural resources, and all commerce by the Moors. That part is where we, we look at everything from that perspective, and we know it takes us doing it together. And so, you know, again, I will be, you know, Moors who come or do whatever, they will be pulling out the larium and, and getting what they, what they, what they uh, desire in terms of food, hotels, 
transportation, the whole nine. Whatever the Moors want, they can get it, and they don't have to worry about being hamstrung by a fiat demon. That's, that's why we're doing what we're doing. And that way, also, Moors get the value of, what, of their work, you know. So when we're looking at all of this, that's, that's what we're looking at. Uh, even when we say, again, all Moors are getting a, just a, a whole brand new start at the top of the pyramid. Perfect credit, perfect driving record, and, and, and your own money. So that's what we look at when, we, when, we, when we're looking at all that we do. We want to make it all come together, all of it come together like that. And with that, I yield to Justice uh, Sheikh Klein L. Yes, I'm Nora Passenger. They wouldn't have let you on base, Pauline, by yourself. You have to be with someone who has a. What? I'm the rail passenger. Just give it up. It's gone. Go ahead, okay. Yeah, the rail passenger. I mean, you look at the rail passenger, isn't it? A pass between one, one, one board to next. Pass a bike. Or, uh, so, or, or you say uh, like a, a ticket to cross is not actually a person, but it's just like a, a ticket to cross from one state to next, or one place to next. Doing business with a different corporation, or um, doing business with a different corporation, or a different group. So you need the pass, you need the pass and the jail, things like that. Not actually, not actually a person sitting next to in the car. Okay, let me just look it up. Let me look. Let me look it up again, so that for the benefit of all of us, uh, let me just look that up. Uh, passenger. And again, it's going to mean ultimately what uh, a, a traveler. Yeah, Justice Harold put it in the chat. Um, it says passenger as a noun. And you know we do the words as now, mid 14th century, passager, a passerby, a traveler from old French. Okay. A uh, passerby. Uh, yeah, or, or a traveler, and you know we travel. That's what Moors do. We're the travelers. So um, let's see. Uh, here in this um, 1828 on the Bridge Webster, it says, Passenger, noun, Middle English and Old French passenger, which is what uh, no, Noble Harold put in the chat, P-A-S-S-A-G-E-R. It says, one who makes a passage or a journey. The N is an intrusive element, as in messenger. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, one who travels by some other... One who travels by some public conveyance as an elevator, a ship, a railroad, train, streetcar, coach, etc., especially one who has no part in the operation of the conveyance. Uh, I'm okay with that definition of passenger and the one that Justice Harold put in the chat. I'm okay with, with it being saying a traveler, you know. Hi, Afram. Islam. Uh, is there any other? Uh, Empress Shasha ha usually has some really good definitions in her dictionary as well. Um, I did do the research on that word, and I was okay with traveler even when I did it, but I thought I would take a second look at it again uh, because, you know, we look, we look things up when as we're, you know, doing things and things like that um, and yes you can say navigate Islam if you're on the, on the water uh, navigation the root word being Navy that's a water term uh, passenger is on the land uh, yeah, a pilot. yeah a pilot yeah uh, and again the code was put on there so that uh, because what it said about that code in the, when I looked in the book was that it was one who can who has the the license says that you can 
you can carry up to, I think it said, it said 15 passengers or something of that nature, but I'll have to go back and look again. And for us, it's, uh, or you can drive a bus or a truck with people in it. And again, I was just, uh, it's going to ultimately mean what we say it means. Uh, my, 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 yes, indeed. Islam may, may I make a statement? The people, we're just people. Um, from my studies, um, I know that we can actually change the meaning of words if we just take a vote on it and give our own meaning because that's exactly how they make ebonics. That's exactly yeah. how any language, any language from history, a group of people will commonly use a word and then because they commonly use it, they voted on this is the meaning for it. So if you want to change the meaning of passenger, when you put it in your identification, you have already written an affidavit with a glossary that says this word means that, and then we take a vote on it, and then that's that. Yeah. Islam. And, mm -hmm. and with uh, a vote is not not even necessary unless it's unless it's going, you know, unless we we all feel that you know what, let's 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 vote on that. And the vote is to put it on the record that all the people agree, or that most of the the majority of the people agree. Um, I'm okay with traveler because because that's still going to kind of link us to travel cards. And we want to make sure that that's included in what in all that we're doing or is at the foundational, you know, the foundation of the documentation. Our nationality cards and our travel cards are the are the international things that we do. And then the things that we're doing here on our land, uh, even though some can be considered international, uh, we want to we want to make sure that those that those bases are covered as well. You know, I was just amazed that they could not rebut the driver's license at that common access area. Just amazed. It just really because when I was in the quote unquote military uh, back in the 90s, going through that gate was something. It was something. Uh, they wanted everything to be a certain way, and blah 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 blah. And they still are. It's still like that. However, what I did, it matched and made sense on everything that we're doing. So it couldn't be rebutted. Islam. And that was my my thing. Islam Empress. You, you you called my name, <laughs> my appellation. You called me. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, give some input too. And I did look up in my big dictionary here. Passenger and traveler are, are the same thing. It, yeah. In this, it, at least in this definition. And maybe I missed it. Maybe I'm a little slow today. But uh, this definition, a person who is traveling in an automobile, a uh, bus, train, airplane, plane or other conveyance. So if you notice the language is our language. It's in yeah. our status and 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 then it goes on to say uh, one who is not the driver, pilot or the like, second definition, a wayfarer, a traveler. And a wayfarer is a traveler who's traveling on foot. So yeah. it 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 fits and as you say, we it it means whatever we we say it means. So I just thought I would put my little... Thank you, Amber. That means we have three witnesses in the mouth of two or three witnesses, and we have more than that. But but uh, Justice Harold put his definition in there. I read the definition out of this book, and you read it out of yours. And so a traveler, that's, that's who we are. We're travelers as well yeah. on our land. Who's going, Amber? Uh, what? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, nobility. Oh yes, it's um um it seems like um it's being used it's been used connotatively instead of denotatively. So all we're doing is just going back to its original meaning. Teach nobility. Absolutely. See, the programming is is still a little bit running sometimes. 
And so we just have to identify that, okay, that's programming, let's, let's, let's set that aside and, and, and state it for what it really is. And that's why we have our own state. That's why we self-govern. It's, it's so we can do that. And, and we don't have to go by connotative, you know, language. Islam, uh, Empress. Um, Islam, uh, I just recently learned that, um, that our ancestors are the, are the originators of written language. So I can't imagine anyone else on the planet who has the right but us to say what a word means. I Islam. Teach Empress. I, I, you know, I know that we're the original Phoenicians, so I to put words down. I'll put the word on it. Motion. Because who even has the authority to judge? We are in transition, sort of, but not really, because <laughs> the land was always ours. Um, Empress uh, Shatali put something in the chat. She said, I understand all definitions used for traveling and driving. driving. <clears throat> and this is such an a, a Empress Shatali question. I just love it. She said, my question is, why were you considered driving when you took someone to the hospital? How was that commerce? Because there is a code that the hospital assigns to each and every thing they do. There's a commercial code, and there's some billing and some accounting that happens with that. And But see, that's the case for everything in a common access area. That's why they do that. That's why they say you, 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 you're going to have one on this, you know, wherever, we're, you know. And then when I say they, I mean we. Because even going to the hospital, uh, broken arm, code 334, that would be 5,000. You know, broken leg, code 676, that would be, you know, 10,000. It's still commerce just like the law is commerce. That's a great question, Empress Tyler. It's a great question. It makes sense. Because, see, in, a, in our purity, in our divinity, we would say going to the hospital is just going to help somebody. And in our, in our most divine and natural way, that's true. That's true. This dimension that we're at, that we've agreed to, to operate at, um, says that, okay, this is the commercial dimension. Now, this is multi, we're multidimensional all at once. We're multidimensional. So we're not, and that's the beauty of what we're doing. We're not relegated to just the one. We use all the dimensions at once. So, yes, there is some um, commerce being done, as, even, as a, even to birth a, 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 a baby, to birth a baby. Because, remember, it was admiralty that was, that, that was being done on the on the delivery table, they were like, okay, let's get a, a, a certificate for this one and put that certificate on the market. Now, when the Moors, when we have our doulas and things like that, and they come into the family home, and the heir is born in the family home, and things are done that way, uh, that will be a different arrangement. That'll be a different arrangement based on what the doula says because even that, the doula needs to be, she should be compensated in some way for what she's doing. And the, and the baby should be, should be an heir from the very beginning. The baby should come into the, into the world with the trust already set up. And thankfully, because of the work that we've all, all been doing, that is happening. That's happening. That's real. You know, so we're, we're, we are changing the whole earth. We're changing the earth by what we're doing. That 
means there's a pickup point, a transition point from what we saw in the past, and then we say, okay, we're going to originate the reflection of that. We're going to produce the original of the reflection that we've been looking at. And then maybe two or three or four or five years from now, we'll, we, as a self-governing nation, can say, okay, uh, let's abolish all driver's licenses and just let people use their nationality. We could say that. But what we're doing right now in terms of commerce, see, commerce would have to change in order for, for that system to be done away with. Commerce would have to change. And we would have to, you know, and commerce will change. Let me say that too. Once all of the land is covered with matriarchal trees where people can just go and pick the food and go and just and, and enjoy it together and things like that. Commerce will change then. Islam. Islam nobility. Um, in my studies from reading the old charters, um, we basically form commerce for everybody to work together and not for just one person's benefit. Indeed. From what I was reading, we, we yeah. created it as a public work. So if there was a hospital, say you just end the house and you're doing nothing, you could have been out helping um, a fellow empresses or, or emperor with something and building the nation instead of just doing nothing. So we created commerce for that purpose. Islam. Ooh, that just blew me away again. Back to the meeting. <laughs> wow. Islam. Indeed. Islam member. Islam. Just building on that. Um, wow. Hama is market. Yeah. Market a meeting at a fixed time for buying and selling livestock provisions, goods, yes. publicly exposed to sale. It's a mm -hmm. place where we assembled to yeah, buy and sell, exchange and yeah. so And add value to each other's lives. And add value, exactly. Yeah. Coming together, come to come together. Which is Merchandise and marketing and trading and yeah. exchanging and yeah so yeah 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 and and I like the difference that the viewer said about go ahead no no you have to say fine now go ahead okay. if all commerce we are doing right now if all commerce we are doing right now I'm here on this meeting is commerce we are making we are creating business money every time we are making receipts it's all commerce so. And they said it's important for our language, our wording, our work. It's all important. It's money, it's time, it's energy. It's all from this. It's not. Indeed. I affirm what you said. What you said there, Justice uh, Sheikh Klein L. He said, he said even what we're doing right now is commerce. Everything that we're doing is commerce. And in reality, it is. We were sent here to, to overturn the tables of the money changers. Yo. Yeah. Everyone who's ever participated on these calls, on these congressional assemblies, and us meeting together to come together and, and do and, and implement what we've implemented and what we continue to implement was sent here to overturn the tables of the money changers on this temple right here called America, Al Marak, Turtle Island. The Maghrib Al Aqsa, the Great Northwest Africa, A Mexum, Asia. We were sent here for that, to do that. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And guess what? We did it. And we keep doing it. We did it, and we keep doing it. Yep, because it was the money that was the issue, because that wasn't money. This is money. We are money. 
we get to save what's money too. Yes, indeed, Empress. Indeed. We were sent here for that. And we, we're doing it. It's done already. We're just manifesting it further. So. Islam. Islam, Empress. Grand Rising. Um, I was, you know, looking up the meaning and the word and the origin of table. Because when you were stating how that we are turning the tables over of the money changers, because they did, in the corporate sense, change the du jour credit to the corporate debt. So in that respect, they changed it. But then when you look up the um, word table, um, because I did a basic Google search, and it says, what is the literal meaning of a table? It's a systemic arrangement of data, usually in rows and columns, for ready reference. Ooh, data. You mean like names and birth dates and and driver's license numbers and yeah, that oh. part. Yes. So it's a systemic arrangement of data, usually in rows and columns, ready for reference. Yes. Now, does that sound like an Excel spreadsheet to you, Empress? It sure does. <laughs> That's how the one that was doing business as Bill Gates made. That's that's why they enacted him being so wealthy, because. He, suppo he supposedly came up with the system that turned over the tables. Yeah, our original periodic table of all minerals into a uh, corporate table of, you know, debt and fictitiousness. And then, see, now, and, and we've stated this before about even their whole quote-unquote capitalism platform. When Excel and Access Database programs came out initially in the 80s, 70s, 80s, somewhere around there, when they first started populating those tables and things, those tables, I'll use that word because that's, that's what we call it or that's what it was called. When they started enacting, populating those tables, all of the names had, they started with a capital letter and had lowercase letters. But then in the 80s and 90s, they started having all of the, peop, the, the people doing ministry, administrative business rather, not ministry, but administrative things like the administrative clerks and things like that, those who were enacting those roles, they had them to enact capitalizing everything. They would go through select all the names, thousands and thousands and even millions of names, and they would put a capital and capitalize all of them. And when they did that, it became someone different from who it was when it was in capital diminution minima or with the first letter capitalized and the rest of the letters lowercase. You create a whole different person when you capitalize something all the way that wasn't capitalized before, because now you're creating, you're incorporating it. You're creating a corporation or a court, depending on who's doing it. If the living is doing it, this, then it's a living corporation. If the, if the dead is doing it, then it's a corpse, a dead corpse. So when the Biblio talks about turning over the tables, of the money changers, that's what they're talking about, is the information, the data. We had to, that's why restatement is so magnificent and, and amazing. And that's why the demonstration that I did uh, at the Common Access area of previously doing business at the military base worked. Because it's not even a military base anymore. We're not at war. We're not at war. But the tables were turned over because the data presented was the real United States and not the fake one. The real states united, the original indigenous states, not the dead ones. Just the Sheikh Klein, you were going to say, Islam. Islam. Um, yeah. 
based on the criteria of banking and stuff. When we look at the fiat notes, some of them will never change, just that the corporation just increased creating more fiat notes out of the original and to yeah. the bank to the bank wire and the and, and over produce to the lead to debt. But the fiat the original fiat notes still carry the the, the value but the corporation have no authority over them. But the fiat, so they have promissory notes to create their business. So step one. So the promissory notes promise to pay which they can never pay because there are their entities. Their entities cannot be paid. They will say their person cannot talk about their person cannot move. Their corporation has no debt but the people. So they create bitcoins and then we then we, all people who are still sleeping invest in these corporations with bitcoins and elements. We give them value to be like locate to keep our identity and create different identity select to different um Insurance companies, different corporations, trading, make different to the creation of your name, giving different numbers, serial numbers, invoice numbers, and sell all over and trade all from insurance company to markets to um, stop. So all kind of social media, so all kind of platforms that your name is in different fonts and different variations with different identities and different numbers have been traded on a one signature. Whether you do it with a bank, whether you do it with your SIN number, whether you do it with a driver's license, whatever you did it with in the corporation, that's what happened to one person. So you only have being charged that every single day, maybe 100 million times, 10,000 10, times, 100 times per day in different corporations, making millions of dollars off your name every second or every minute. Where we here are suffering with nothing. No, 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 back. No, 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 not that way. I mean, eh, like, they don't be the penis, like, we don't have to, we don't be getting no levy back from their using our names, the insurance company, the banks, whatever, whatever yeah. card we have. So, every thing they do is fraudulent. It's called fraudulent de facto. Even the courts, it's all, it's it all, it's all accounting, commerce. Yeah. It's called compound interest. This is for yeah. years. Five years, hundred years, ten years that they create compound interest off of your estate. Not simple, not simple interest, but compound interest. It's so long by your by your time beyond, and that's what the Queen Empire developed. Is wrong. Uh, thank you for that. So you know when you talk about interest, do you know why more don't do interest more? Do you do you know why we don't do interest? Because to have an interest in something means you have a, you have a Partial ownership. We have complete and total ownership, so there is no interest. That's why. That's why interest is a just a partial claim. And we don't have interest. Why would I have a partial claim to something that I own completely? I wouldn't. And then when he talked about, when, when Justice uh, Sheikh Klein L talked about the insurance companies and the driver's license and all of that stuff, each one of them was creating a different person. Each one of them was creating a different person, and they put, and all, every one of those companies, and this is uh, Empress Angel, what you mentioned is, 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 this is, this is, this is just beautiful, because Every one of those companies, when you look in their records, they have a big table of names in their computer. They have table after table after table of names in their computers. And those tables are always associated with an amount of fiat somewhere. That's how the names get on the table. Islam. Yes, indeed, Empress. Um, also, table of contents, because um, when you look at, like, a uh, portfolio in the table of content, and on that table of content, it, it gives the itemized information what's coming forth with in the rest of the body. And that table of content is usually looked at more than, you know, because they want to see what they're looking for 
and then zero in and find it on that table. Yes. Yes, indeed. You know, um, that's also why people would say things like uh, they're eating their own. See, and this is the beauty of what we've done, more. The beauty of what we've done by creating our own person and our and being our own government and our own state is we took ourselves off their table. Now we're not their food. As long, I, I want to add one thing, right? Because we've been really studying today when we was at the library and um, reading the. Uh, notes of our ancestors, the way they created things, and all these companies were, were for the tables, like data, recording, stuff yeah. like that. And like how you said, we turned over the tables. When we started creating our own recordings and data, we actually took the cloth from them and put it on our table and made our own. So it's like we turned the tables on them by us doing our own paperwork and recording and data and uh, our researches. We just created our own data. You putting this up right now with the driver's license, that is your own data. That kills their data. Yes. Your they cannot use their data anymore because the real data is here. And that's for all of us, and that's why I'm encouraging more to do this, to do this this thing, this piece that we're doing. I'm encouraging you to do it. I know some, see, let me tell you this too. Some will say, we don't need a driver's license. We're on our own land. But they'll go, they'll go and do, they'll do, co everything they do is commerce. Everything they do is commerce. So you can't complain about that and, and, and just do it right so, you, so, so that all of that uh, detainment stuff can stop. Just do it right. Create your own. That's not hard to do, to govern and travel as you please on your own land. I don't think that's hard to do. And, you know, again, we, this is chess. This ain't checkers. Chess says that when you move their pawn off the square, that you put the real pawn that you control on the square. That's really what standing on your square is all about. And that's why when you go into places like, quote, unquote, Buckingham Palace and, and uh, uh, where else, even the rotunda and all of that, and you see those squares and that, those black and white squares in there, don't think those people don't know what that means. That's what that means. They're saying, is, are you playing chess or checkers? Because you don't leave. Nature abhors a vacuum or an empty space. But we don't do empty spaces because we don't have room for an empty space. We got so much. You know. So uh, Islam. Islam. Islam members. I'm just adding on again on the table piece. The table is where we sit at table and feast and, and eat and they have been we have been the feast Whoop. on their table. We now turn that table, and we are feasting at our own table. Hey, Jeffress. And that's very That was the point. That's it. Of all of this, if you ask me. That's it. That's the point. You know, we talk about snatching sandwiches from folk, <laughs> from persons and things, you know. Yeah. Let's let's take the whole place, everything. Take the whole table, everything. This is our banquet now. Yes, it is. It is. It is. You know, this that's the that is the story. And and again, we're not bragging. We're just stating what is what what is. Yeah. Islam. Yes. Islam nobility. And the, and the beauty of that, I, I love what she just shared, that now we're eating at our own table. And guess what? We are so generous, and our table is so vast, we'll even let them not eat crumbs, but actually enjoy a meal, provided they come and be civilized <laughs> and not at war. Thank you. Indeed. 
Indeed, but in the interim, we've created a place for them too. They can have their own, what they like to eat, because we don't always eat the same thing, and we don't want to offend them by offering them the things that we eat that are that's different from the things that they eat. Islam. Islam. I just want to say I love all of you guys because I just realized this now that I now I understand and understand what the policy enforcer was really asking for. He was asking me to produce my own data, and yeah. and I was I was already prepared for it. I had it in my pocket and everything, but I wanted him to do it the right way, like and teach them at the same time. It was like. The, the ancestors was talking through him to communicate something to me to show the proper data so he can go along along his way and show him that I have my own plate now. There's no need for you to, <laughs> to there's no need for us to squabble anymore. No, basically. no conflict. There's no there's, conflict. Yeah. You know, more, and I'll say this about about even the data part. We know that, and this might seem a little off subject, but it's really not. We know that, like for example, in every movie about space, such as Star Trek and Star Wars and things like that, in every one of those movies, there's always one main character who can spit out data. Just left around, and in one of them, in one in one of the versions of Star Trek, they actually named the character Data. But in the original Star Trek, it was Spock. Spock. And Spock would just always, you know, the ship could be on fire, and and everybody running around crazy, and you turn to Spock. And say, Spock, what do we do? And he'll go back and do, 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 do. Uh, it is important that we do this, 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 and this to maintain the balance of the ship. And, you know, just pure logic, pure logic. Well, that was also their way of telling us that there is an element of data and logic that must be maintained in order for order to be restored back to the earth. Islam, Islam nobility. You talk. You're talking my my favorite language. When you start yes. talking anything that has to do with outer space and and that type of genre, because yeah. it, it fueled my imagination as a young one growing up, and kept me out of gangs and everything else. Um, you know, trouble. But here's the point that I was about to share. When you just mentioned the 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 fact that each one of those genres would have some a uh, man or woman that could spit out information like that, you know, click, 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 just right off the top of their head. Data being one of them, Data was his name, and then mm -hmm. Spock being the other one. Now, interestingly, Spock coming from planet Vulcan, right? Yeah. Do some, do some, inter some research on that. But the other side of that is when they started the NASA program, who was it that was doing the manual calculations in their heads? A more shipper our melanated sisters, because we really have the aptitude if yeah. they didn't dumb us down through their educational indoctrination schools, okay, in our natural state. We were the logic. We were the mathematicians. We're the ones who taught them math, real math, because they didn't know nothing about – Lord have mercy. That's us. That's, that's yeah. a, that is – when they're doing that in these genres, they're talking about us, yeah. right? And a lot of our people struggle, you know, in, in, in their schools because you're not doing it in a natural way, learning the, 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 to use the logic that we innately have. But yeah. then when you just simply put it in terms that people understand, they're doing yeah. highly complex mathematical computations in their head naturally. They just don't know that they're doing it. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. We do it automatically. Yes. Yeah. And and that's why you know that's why we uh, we had to implement and activate our systems of numbers and data and information. And that's this is how you do it. You you just look at that's what government is. 
is information applied with people. Information and people coming together in a beautiful composition of music. It just, ah, there's nothing we can't do when we know how to govern and manage the information that allows everything that the people do to be in order, in an orderly, that's why they call it a new world order. There's order and logic and data and proper governance of said information. And our information cannot be produced by anyone but us. That's why we had to restate everything. And let me just tell you that as we restate credit reports and driver license, uh, driving reports and things like that, I know some feel like they don't have to have a driver's license. Listen, we can't tell sovereigns what to do, but if you're using sovereign credit, if you're using Delarium, or if you're still stuck in fiat land and, hadn't, and have not decided to come out of that, you're still doing commerce. Still. And, and we govern all commerce. When we stated that we are the heirs to all land, all natural resources, and all commerce, we meant that. And there are systems in place to exercise and take advantage of those uh, those things, those those resources on our land. So we're just we're just using them. We're just using our system that we've created, that we govern, to access the things on our land. So when you talk about domiciles and conveyances, and let me say this about about that too, about domiciles and conveyances. There are there you know in the past there have been maybe one or two uh, Moors who felt like once they declared their nationality they were due already the biggest domicile they could get their hands on without you know no process no no allodial title no no getting rid of the dead covering none of that well you know. It was not successful because we had to have systems in place. And along the way, there's been one or two who said, I'm not going to do more science anymore because I didn't get that conveyance when I did that conveyance demonstration, you know, and, and, and they had maybe part of the process done and not the rest. They didn't even wait to see the rest of the process. They just felt entitled. And, yes, we are entitled. But that feeling and that pressure and that energy that says I have to force my entitlement is, is, is not a good energy. We don't have to force anything. None of, you know, the ancestors will not allow us to suffer as we move through these processes when we just keep clearing our energy and keep moving forward and determining that, okay, if the if the conveyance that I demonstrated is not in the driveway, then there's something else that I have to add to this demonstration. Okay? So I'm not going to just chunk to the side my nationality because the conveyance is not in the driveway. I'm not doing that. That's not how this And I would not encourage any more to do that. I would, I would say, yes, demonstrate. And then when the ancestors show you what else needs to be done, just Say, okay, this is a part I was missing. And that's why we don't do war energy when we demonstrate. Because there could be something that we could be missing in the process that we put in place. Okay? Um, yes, that's, that's not a higher energy, higher self, noble energy. Uh, and, and we get that. Um, so we just say, okay, let me gather myself and keep myself together and, and look at the process and then start looking again and studying again because, see, this is meant for all of us to take advantage of the estate, all of us, not just one of us, but all of us. That's what public means. That's what public means, you know. So 
basically, and in a nutshell, and I'll just round this uh, this um, this congressional assembly out. I'll round it off with uh, with this. Over the next few days and weeks and months, we're going to be producing our own credit report. And in the credit report, let me say this. For those more who have domiciles and maybe in your sleep, like, like myself, I, I in my sleep, before I knew that I was a more, we signed for a mortgage. So what are we doing? We're going to demonstrate the same things that we've been saying, demonstrate. And then on our credit report, our mortgage is going to be paid in full, paid in advance, rather, uh, prepaid. The domicile will be pre, a prepaid domicile because we know when we signed the documentation that it was prepaid. We know that. But we had to produce to show that. We had to do these documentations that we're doing to show. Each account and each, you know, each thing on that on that record. Okay, uh, you made a, a a list of the accounts and things like that. Just a moment, Empress. Um, all you have to do in order to um, in order to to have just a a pristine, perfect credit report is go back through that list. <laughs> cancel each one of those debts according to that and then get if there was any outstanding debt just do a uh just issue some delarium issue some delarium and again this is going to be work to manage the affairs our to manage our affairs but that's how this is done that's that's our job. That is our responsibility. It's our duty. It's our national duty. So I'll be going through, uh, I believe I will be going through, let me just state this properly. I'm going to take a look at it because a lot of that stuff is not even, it's not even on the record anymore. Uh, not even on, their, on the, the, the records from the previous era because it's so old. But um, all of it is going to be stated, stated that it was prepaid, all of it, all everything, cell phone, uh, domicile, conveyances, insurance, uh, medical, anything, healing rather, anything that's on the uh, termination of all corporate contracts will be going back and issuing um, a 1099C, or, or this is what we would encourage for those who are in this headspace of getting rid of the old and getting and coming into the new. Now, yes, the termination of corporate contracts just meant that you're not obligated for that. You're not obligated for it. The debt was never ours in the first place. But then as responsible heirs, what we do want to do is uh uh you know make sure and we and this is this has kind of been done already by the 1099c that we did that we restated for the United States Corporation Company the one that we did last week where we did an overarching 1099c that really kind of did it but to address specifically cuz all law is specific um we don't if this is not a, a something you have to do but uh, just take a look at it because the credit reports that we produce that are clean and clear and everything is clean and clear, um, we're actually going to use the system to get the things that we, that we want to get, like the conveyances and domiciles and things, but we want to use the full measure of our system. So Experian, TransUnion, and, uh, the, and the other credit report. Experian, TransUnion, and uh, there's another credit report. Equifax. 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 Equifax, yes. They need to be notified. The subjects in the office of, just 
let me just write that down myself. TransUnion, you said Equifax and Experian. We're going to be sending updated credit reports by court action, Article Three court action. That states that everything is prepaid already. And um, whatever else those, because uh, I don't know if they reflect um, amounts, let's say bank account amounts and things like that, but we can always also send with that um, a memo, and when I say memo, I mean a corporate affidavit, because you know we do corporate affidavits from our bank stating that there's a hundred million in our trust. We could always do that, and then also uh, print up a pre-approved letter for credit. And when we say letter for credit, or we actually should call it a creditor's affidavit, by the banks stating that we are approved for $100 million based on the amount that's in our sovereign trust to get the things, whatever it is that we're, we're getting, and then have the bank uh, to issue that. Then we can do a 1099-C for the debt part so that our subjects are not responsible for any debt and then issue whatever that amount is in Delarium to cover the credit so that we don't use the money from our trust. Because I really, I, I want the hundred million in my trust to stay there when I can just pay in Delarium. So, yeah. Um, that is the next uh, portion of our turning over the tables of the money changers. The tables are already flipped over. We did that already. We just now are, are um, putting our own tables and the, you know, the table is spread. We're just spreading it out and putting more dishes on the table and more food on the table for us to partake of together, you know. So, and some may think that, oh, you know, that's not necessary. Yeah, we're the heirs anyway. It actually is. Uh, competent governance and proper accounting. Why do you think they call it the Acts of the Apostles? Apostle and apostille is a legal term. And Acts is a, an abbreviation of the word account. They were bankers and lawyers. And it's only now that the hybrids are actually going on, you know, out there enacting, saying, yeah, uh, Paul was a lawyer and Jesus was a lawyer. He wasn't just a carpenter, because see, they say, or the son of a carpenter. They actually did accounting and they had records and things like that. They weren't going to tell us that before because they, because you know, we were we were rolling under benches and, you know, doing all types of craziness, thinking that we're serving a god. When in reality, it was all about the commerce. Even and in this this I heard a, a, a hybrid say recently, uh, who's who's doing who was previously doing business as a preacher. He said that Adam was put on earth to commercially govern everything when they were when Adam and Eve were in the garden and we know that's anthropomorphy we know it's it's it's, it's childlike stories to illustrate universal principles so when god told adam and don't eat of that tree of all these other ones you can eat of every you can have everything in here just that, that, that tree and that tree, because there was two trees, not one. There was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and a separate, a second tree of life in there. And he wasn't supposed to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Uh, that was, a, that was a, a tithe or an offering that Adam was supposed to give. So if Adam had done his math, 
he would have known that, okay, the reason why they didn't, God never said anything about the, the tree of life is because Adam already had eternal life until he took the tithe for himself. And what am I saying? I'm saying accounting is what the whole, accounting and commerce is what the entire Biblios was about. And guess who wrote it? The ancient civils. Because we've always been the titans of commerce. Always have been and always will be. And our ancestors want us. They, uh, they have, have sent us to, um, to put, activate all of this. So, you know, you're missing out when you say, we don't need that. We don't have to do that. Well, you, you, you know, you're right. You don't have to do it in a spiritual and ethereal sense. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. But when it comes to commerce and law and order, that show called Law and Order, they were giving a hint that says those two go together. And who's the law? We are. Law and order go together. And, that's, and, and these, these things like driver's license and things like that, that we produce, those things are for so that we don't have to, there doesn't have to continually be conflict on the land. I didn't have to get into an argument with the guy at the gate. Gate, govern, that word gate and government mean the same thing. Now, not that he's the government, I am. That's why I was able to produce my own document and show that document and in an orderly manner. I didn't have to go back and forth with him about me being original and indigenous. I didn't even have to say that. It was on the documentation that I produced. And so that's the, those are the, that's the stuff that we're saying, uh, you know, that we, that we, um, that we're making sure that we handle because no one else can handle it but us. Islam. Islam. Uh, Islam, Empress. Um, um, back to the carpenter and Jesus being a carpenter. And carpenter um, comes from um, carpentine. Let's see, carpintero, carpentiero. Etymologically, it means a tree right, one who shapes the wood. So if the tree of life, so the carpenter and the tree oh. of life, and if the tree of life is man, so the shaping the yes. man to become whom man is supposed to be, or the God, or you know what I mean, if that makes any sense. But that's yes. um, the root of it all. It goes yes. back to the church. Islam, indeed. And we are um, Jesus. So yeah. we must shape our own tree. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose everybody is tired of eating their no, red lobster for free by right now. Tree. All those red lobster, everybody going every. They always say, you know, we always mention about getting under under our own fine fig tree. Yes. You know, more of the same, Empress. It's more that it's more of that of us governing everything. Yeah, yeah. And let me just say this too: when the court jesters say things about conveyances and stuff like that, they want to keep pointing at that because they already know we got it. We got that thing locked up. We know we know we got it locked up, and so that's why they don't have any titles to any of that. Because it's, it's not hey, Angel Bay. I thought you were going to give Delarium for that, that. It's not their stuff. It's our stuff. And again, when the reason they do that is to get at ego. If there's any ego in 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 us at all, that's out of place because ego is it, there's an it's a necessity for it. It just has to be right sized. But what I'm saying is, you know, 
yes, we're not going to feed any of that. You know, none of that, uh, because that's, that's why they say the things they say, so that they can try and injure or, or hurt that which they are made of. Because we, we don't even need ego. We have all the money in the world. We have all the property. We have all the land, all the natural resources, all of that. We don't even need ego at all, really. Uh, I won't say at all, but I will say that, you know, uh, that it's not a necessity. And, and when it's not available for them to trample on, like they try to do, then they have they have nothing. They won't even they it will it won't even bother you. Okay. Oh, I got the wrong one. Islam, you know he keeps talking about the conveyance. Okay, and he's referring to the um, automobile. Yeah. But to convey something is to transport it, to move it from one place to another. We are conveying every day. We are the conveyance every day that we are doing what we are doing, we are moving into a different place. We're elevating. We are so, you know, it this is a mute point. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh you know, they already know that the the processes and everything is 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 what was the issue. Um I'm trying to make sure that Justice Tonus can get back in because I pushed the X by mistake for him. Um, Justice Tonus, I want to make sure that he gets back in. Let's see, did he make it back in? Why doesn't anybody ask Pauline about her post office window? Justice Tonus, did you make it back in? Justice. Hey, Pauline, they sold your Land Rover out from underneath you. What are you going to do about that? Justice Tonus, did you make it back in? Just telling us. Okay. Uh, I don't see Justice Tonus. I'm going to leave it open so he can come back in because I mistakenly hit the X for him. My apologies, Justice Tonus. Uh, so, uh, with those things being stated, um, let's see. With that being stated, Islam. Islam Empress. Um, I was wondering, are you considering or have you thought of um, or have you in the past um, done a demonstration or kind of give some guidance as to how someone can patent um, something? Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, where patenting is concerned, um, let me just say this first about patent. Patent. Where's all them babies you were gonna have, Pauline? You said you were gonna have a whole bunch of babies. <laughs> they live off of every word. Every you word. You just had one fucking lesbian. That... Every word. Um. So, with, first, let me say this about about patents. We did not do patents as it were. Um, for example, the documentation and the projects and the products and, and not products, but the, uh, well, I could say products, but the things that the ancestors have given us, we tributed freely and to the nation. That's how we, and, 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 and everyone can use it and, you know, we all benefit that way. 
uh, that's one of the reasons that we we have not been doing patents up to this point on the things that that we're given because we know that everything comes from the one great mind anyway. Um, however, now having said that, I'll let that sit there. Uh, we didn't even patent. We told everyone how to make sea salt for themselves, but still Moors want want our sea salt, and we're happy to oblige that. Um, where patents are concerned, all of the information that's out there, a patent is not really protection per se. And first of all, the hybrids, uh, the corpses, Prove that part. All it had to do was be restated. Uh, and when it's restated, then it's new. It's a new, whole new thing. So when it comes to patenting and things like that, yes, it can be done. Sovereigns can do that. It is best that the patent be done in trust with your nation. And the what the reason I say that is because for example, Microsoft and all of them, all they did was take military information that we put in the record, they patented it, and then they sold it back to the heirs. So where patents are concerned, if I was going to get a patent on my sea salt, I would take the patent through, through, through this Congress or through the board on the, on the, uh, of my company, which Right now, all of you are that, that board um, because everything that we do goes through Congress. But if I were going to do that, um, I, would, I would take it through the Congress and, and, and have the Congress um, agree that that particular technology that you will be the expert for that technology and that no one else will produce it unless they produce something different. It can be similar, but not the exact thing. Those things are done in trust. Um, the U.S. Trademark and Patent Office, everything that they did, everybody knows once you submit it, submitted it to them that there were corporates who would, who would tell the U.S. Trademark and Patent Office to deny your patent, and then they would take that information and produce that thing themselves. So, again, patents are done in a trust environment where you can trust those that you, you know, that, that you're in doing things with, that you're doing business with. You know, the things that Bill Gates, quote, unquote, came up with, Steve Jobs could have could have done the same thing, but they had they had a trust. They looked like enemies or whatever or competitors rather on the public record, but there was a trust there that said, "Okay, we're not going to do that. You do that, we're going to do this." So, uh where patents are concerned, you can place a patent on the public record, but that's no guarantee that some other heir somewhere hasn't already thought of that plus adding a couple of things to it because there's nothing new under the sun. Islam, can I add on to what you said? Islam. Um, one, of our, uh, our, uh, one of our ancestors said one time when he was creating something for the nation, he said, why should I charge anyone, anybody for something that was given to me by the divine? So a patent, a patent, everything that was patented by the previous era, they took from ancient, ancient records. Never existed in North America. You don't have a nation. <laughs> Go ahead, nobility. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> like every, everything they ever taken or patented in their in their so called offices um, was taken from the ancients way before them. You know, so like you, sh it, it shouldn't be. It was, it was made. Everything that was created was created for the benefit of humanity. 
because somebody may come along and then want to improve on what you may have patented. So you want you want to give a chance for everybody to enjoy the products that you create because everything is created for the nation. We have to get out of this this thinking of the, of the colonizer because that's a colonizing way of thinking. Let me patent this because I want to be selfish with it. Take the lesson from our ancestor that because he said it was given to me freely through the, through his own you know his own blood he created with his hands and he gave it to the nation for free. He didn't charge anybody. His life. Well, you know, nobility, I'll have to say this, that, that um, we should be able to patent things. This is, this is my thinking, because everything that the, hybrid, the, the, that the, the foreigners did was a, it was a hypothecation or a subrogation or an act that mimicked something that we did for the good. So there's some good in all of us agreeing that, okay, this technology, uh, Empress, um, let's just say Empress Karima is going to do this or, or, or any other Empress. I'm just using that as an example. Empress Karima is going to be the, um, the chief justice of the telephone um, technology that looks like this. This is her telephone technology. And so we would all say, okay, we all agree that, that she is the master of that technology and that whatever she puts out, we're either going to support her until someone else comes out with something better. That means that we're all going to have to stay on top of what we're doing. So it's going to be a healthy uh, uh, patenting process. Uh, the process of patenting should be allowed, just like a land patent. A land patent is not a land title. It's a patent. It says that, okay, uh, Empress Angel is going to use this land right here. She has the title. She's gonna, she has the title, then she has a patent. For example, I have a patent. I currently hold a patent for 1.6 million acres here. I did not need a patent because we have the title to all land. But the patent just makes it so that we don't have to fight over the land. Because who's holding the, who's holding, we all hold the title. Okay, well, who, does anyone have a, a lawful patent that's been placed on the public record? When was your patent placed on the public record? Okay, when was your patent placed on the public record? Okay, then you are right. This one is the rightful has rightful use of this land, you know. So there should be, and it's the same way with technology, Empress. You asked the question about patents. Uh, I would encourage every all Moors to put your patents on the public record by court action. They, it has to come from a court because the U.S. Trademark and Patent Office was, was pretending to be a court. And... Um, and then go ahead about producing. Don't worry too much about people copying and people doing this and that because anything can be proven in a court of law. Go ahead and do what you're going to do. And that's the beauty also of um, what we have seen thus far in terms of, for example, the subjects put logos and things and signatures and things on the public record, okay? Well, there's a difference between the public record and the public domain. The public record is a, that's, and that's why it must be done by a court. Because if you put something on the public record and it's not done by a court, that means it's, it's open source and everyone can use it. That's the public domain. The things done by courts, a lawful court, it must be a, a real court. When you put a patent on the public record that's gone through a real court process, such as the Moorish court process, the empress who asked the question, you're the court for your patent. Go ahead and put it on the public record. And then if there's any controversy or conflict that comes up, you can look at what you've done and look at what they've done. Because guess what? The same divine mind that gave you that idea will give you a zillion more ideas that are even more profitable than the one they gave that you're patenting. Yes, Islam. 
Um, I was asking the question because um, I ran across the young, it's not really for me. I ran across a young man yesterday, I think it was, and he was, um, I loved what I saw that he did to a bicycle. And he was showing me that he was getting ready to like motorize it, you know, and all that. And I was, I was impressed with what I was seeing. And he had shown me like, you know, slides on his phone of other work that he had done for other people. So I was just trying to see if I could guide him, you know, in some manner, um, you know, so that he would benefit from the fruit of his labor and um, his intellectual property. That's beautiful. I would just, I would encourage him to put a certain amount of what he did, put it on the public record and say, and leave the part that he patented that he wants to, to not have everyone know. Just say, this part is patented by me, but this is what it does. Just put that on the public record and then begin working in that because uh, that's the, the and, and, and write it out and then also do an accompanying video if he feels that a video is necessary, but definitely write the process out. And then uh, in as much as he wants to uh, capture the process, write as much of it out as he chooses to divulge onto the public record, put it on the public record, and, and, you, and, and then go about doing it. And the only time anybody will challenge that is if, if he runs into somebody else who's doing the same work. And nine times out of 10, especially where, where, where we're concerned, when, two, when, for example, there are other empresses, oh, this is a great example. <laughs> there are other empresses who were doing this work before we came, before we woke up. We honor them. So we're not, when we looked at what everyone was doing and we said, okay, we, you know, the ancestors gave us some inspiration. We rewrote some of the documentation and things like that, like the name change in judicial proclamation. The ancestors gave us, a, a, told us do it in all red and all lowercase letters. We were not going head to head with anybody about that. We were affirming their work and then adding some things to it. So we were not in conflict with them about the documentation. And then the ancestors gave us more and more because we were not at war about the documentation. And so with, with him, he can just put his, put, put his uh, process on the public record to a certain point. He doesn't have to tell the whole thing. He doesn't have to tell every little detail. Uh, and then once he does it by affidavit, okay, because it, it, it can be done by affidavit, and he puts that affidavit, he can even put it on Facebook. Or, uh, or he can put it mail it to mail it out and keep the uh, return receipt number mail it to himself even and put it that will date his technology and he'll have proof that he he did that and that that's the process that he's using for his work he can mail it to himself islam islam nobility I looked up the definition of patent, the etymology. It says this. It says the word patent originates from the Latin patri, which means to lay open, make available for public inspection. And that is what happened with every record that went on to the U.S. Trademark and Patent Office. It was available for people to look at. And you just knew who did it because they put their name on it. But it was it, those those patents are. And then after 70 years with the U.S. Trademark and Patent Office, after 70 years, I believe it is, those patents then become they they get put on the public domain, so that anybody who wants to improve on them can do so, can use them, can claim them, and all of that. And that's actually where we are right now, is that everything that we see, we can claim it. That's, that's what Jubilee is. That's what a reset is and all of that. 
The channel of stone angels. Huh? Say again. Islam, return of stolen goods. Oh, yeah, stolen that's goods. what I said. Not yeah. stolen everything. Uh, you can call it return of stolen goods. You can call it uh, some people went to, the smartest people on, 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 in the universe went to sleep and, and, and let others use their stuff or, or others mimic their, their stuff. You can call it that too. See, we don't, I can't say they stole anything because they don't have the authority to steal it. That's why it's so easy for us to just do things, take things and just print our own money, make our own IDs and everything. They didn't steal anything. They didn't. I, I can't even give them that much credit. I just can't. I can't even fix my mouth to say they stole something because you can't steal from God. You can't steal from your creator. So, you know, that's why I'm not I'm I'm not I'm not mad at them. Our land hasn't gone anywhere. Our brain hasn't gone anywhere. Our greatness has not gone anywhere. Our nobility, our divinity, our wealth, we just produced it. We just keep producing our own wealth. And now when we put, listen to me more, when we put these credit reports, Article 3 credit reports, have you ever heard of an Article 3 credit report and an Article 3 driving record? Well, now you have, because we're going to be producing them for ourselves. So, you know, our courts are very powerful also. We have the authority to do all of that. And when we put all of that together with our own banking, who's going to tell us no? You can't tell us no. We produced all of that. We created all of that. So over the next few weeks and, and months, we'll be, going, we'll be re revisiting these precepts We'll be showing you uh, our credit report, and our credit report is going to look exa almost exactly like our termination of corporate contracts. Uh, it's going to show everything is prepaid. Everything was prepaid at the beginning when we signed the contract. Remember that, Morse. So it was prepaid on the date that the contract was made, but in our state. So we're again, we're not we're not claiming any anything dead. We we're restating the contracts because we terminated all the old that old stuff, the presumed contracts, and now we're producing the original. Because remember, they separated the original uh, contract from. Our, with our signature on it, it was separated out and then redistributed as new, a new debt. They re redistributed as debt. Well, for us, it's credit. So uh, we're going to be showing those processes over the next couple, you know, days and weeks. Uh, our driving record will show you what that looks like. And all we're going to do is go online and look at a driving record and then Say, and then make it our own and, and, and reproduce it. We're going to look at the credit record, TransUnion, Equifax, Experian. We can, we can look at that if we, if we want to look at it because, you know, you can look at it for free. You don't have to pay to look at it. Um, you, once a year, you're, you can get one free copy of it at once per year if you choose to go that route. I have, when I looked, when I did my termination of corporate contracts, I just looked at all the mail that was coming to their court, Pauline, Richie, the debtor, and I said, okay, let me do court actions on all of this to state that, state that this is not me, but now I'm dealing with, okay, this is what we're going to do. Uh, restate that, and it's going to be a credit report and show that everything was paid on the day that, that the the contract was 
uh, made in reality. So everything is going to be perfect. It's going to show an established credit record and everything paid in advance. Because, see, remember, we're the CEOs of all the companies, too. And if the CEOs had been honorable, those other in that last era, before we knew who we were, if there had been honor there, they would have said that as soon as the more signed, we went to the treasury and got the money out, and um, it, it was prepaid. And so they didn't have to pay for cell phones, serve cell phones and, 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 and all of that, and, and cars and conveyances, and, and they didn't have to pay for any of that. Because when they signed, they agreed that we were going to take out of the trust, out of the treasury. So everything was coming from the trust anyway. And so that's, that's how we're going to be proceeding and putting that on the public record and manifesting it. And then more is listen. Then comes that same process with conveyances, domiciles, and things like that. But that's, you know, we got to handle our business first. And that's why I'm not worried about, you know, like I did the demonstration on the, on the conveyance. And the ancestors wanted to see if I was going to get a little salty about it not be showing up in the driveway that day. Nope, I'm not worried. Not worried. Not at all. Because I already know it's, it's already mine. A thousand times over, really. But more, think about it. You know, as we, as we access our estate, you can't unaccess it. You, you access it, and when you access it, you can do that repeatedly over and over and over and over and over. And that's why we're taking the time to learn the processes or remember the processes. And so we can use it as many times as we desire. And what is that for? Not just to have things. It is so that everyone, everyone will know who they are and wake up and proclaim who they are. All this is is, is, is is nation building. I don't need anything. But in the interest of nation building, and I say in the interest because our, all of our interest is, to, is one. That, that's, full, that's the full of it. But I don't mean, but I know, I know what takes the attention of our brothers and sisters out there. The same thing that made them sign contracts in the first place uh, is, a, is a want for a better life, a want for a great life and a great life for their heirs and all of that. So Islam. Are there any other questions, comments, wisdom, um, et cetera? Any other questions, comments, et cetera? Any at all? Islam, uh, take a look at the comment that I just sent you, um, Light, please. I saw it, uh, Noble Phoenix. I see it. All right. Islam. Uh, and, and my, um, my statement regarding that is we're going to be restating everything. So um, if you could just provide something for us to restate, in terms of uh, maybe an insurance report or a, 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 rec, a credit report or anything of that nature. You know, uh, I would provide my credit report for us to restate, see how to restate, but I don't have a copy of it. <laughs> and when I say mine, I mean, I don't mean mine, I mean the one from the previous era. I don't have a copy of it, but I could. I I could, I'm, I'm pretty sure I could get a copy of it. I could probably go online because all the records are open now anyway to all of us because we put a, um, we put a 
uh, freedom of information law on the public record that says open all records so we can look at all of them. And that has actually been, we've been able to see everything we needed, we uh, desired to see thus far. It's been available online at our will. So uh, with that being stated, if there is nothing further, may your way be easy. May you prosper and be in health. One last thing, that Freedom of Information um, proclamation that we did, uh, where is that again so I can reference that, please? It's going to be uh, under the video where we did that. However, I would encourage you, Nobility, to just do a little study on Freedom of Information Act and then restate it. That's, that's what ours looked like. That's all we did was just look at that, look at what Freedom of Information meant uh, in the statutes and codes. And then we just said, okay, let's restate this and make it a law. And then we put it on a public record. That's how we do everything. Yeah. I, I, I just simply, from a time standpoint, would prefer not to try to reinvent the wheel when we've already made the wheel run very smoothly <laughs> with the restatement we've well, already you know, done. You're not really wasting time when you're studying. Oh, I agree with that. But I'm still going to study what we've done. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a vi then then I can point you to a video, and under that video, you there will be a link that will point you straight to that document. Okay, yeah, and I, I don't can know what that, that, that is. I really need. I don't mind doing that part of the study. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I don't know which video vi which video it is. I'll have to go back and look through the 300 and almost 400 videos to That's in order my to. That's dilemma is I don't know what's inside of it when you draw and you know jewels have been dropped. In those 300, and I'm like, I don't know which, which one has got the diamond that I'm looking for, the ruby or the emerald. You know, I, it, it's so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Islam, man. Islam. Um, uh, I wanted to do a roll call of thank you, first of all, to you. Uh, much high honors for your oh. heart the heart that you have and um i don't know everybody's name but sister sasha sister yeah. empress sasha angel base stateswoman sasha stateswoman angel bay uh statesman astadula statesman yeah. noble phoenix yeah. uh statesman in jamaica the stateswoman in uh Mississippi Republic, uh, not sure her name, but I've heard her speak and, and uh, another elder statesman in Mississippi. And I just want to thank all of you for helping me earn my face. Oh, Islam. Thank you so much, thank nobility. You. Islam. I affirm that for all the all the appellations that you called and everyone on this call, Empress Cynthia. Um, let me. I can just go on down this list right here, one after the other. Yes, Justice Eddie J. Bay, Justice Ronnie. Uh, uh, who else? Uh, Empress Nabi, Justice Abasi, Justice A Empress Angel, Justice Asa Dula, Empress Aisha. Uh, Justice Dawu, Empress Carolyn, Justice Chief Justice Lord uh, Amon, Empress Cynthia, I said Empress Cynthia and Bay, uh, Justice Darius, Empress Denise, Justice Gregory, Empress Gloria, Justice Harold, thank you so much, Justice Harold, for that, Justice Howard, Justice Kansu, Justice Malik, Justice Michael uh, Dumois, Justice Mukudu, Empress Nana, Noble Phoenix, Empress Rama, Empress Shatali, Justice Sharif, Empress Shasha, uh, em uh, Justice Travis, uh, Empress Justice Willie, uh, and anyone else here who who uh, is is here every time we have these uh, these uh, congressional assemblies and just the information together. I honor you all so much. You have made my life better just for being in it. Gratitude. Indeed. Indeed. Gratitude, my brother. Gratitude. Indeed. And I love all of you guys. Peace and love. Islam. 
Indeed, Islam. Islam. And Islam, we, at, uh, with that, we will adjourn until Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Peace and grand rising to the sovereign, original, indigenous, natural, divine air, Islam. Islam, peace and grand rising. Gratitude, more than nobles and empresses. Gratitude. Gratitude. Islam. Islam. Keep ascending. Islam. Peace and love, more than rising. Lovely to every more. Mother's mock every mother. One left to all. <laughs>